Leningrad. Attention, Pechugin, Polar Division Chief. Freight delivered to Ruskaya Polar Station. Polar Explorers picked up. Difficult ice conditions impede our progress. The wind is at 15 to 17 meters. Gusts up to 20 to 25 meters. Sleet showers. Taking measures to reach open water ASAP. Captain Petrov. Here we are. Come on in, guys. Come in. Mighty polar explorers out there are nothing else than penguins in here. Welcome to your cages. Then the seamen are shags, right? Dusha, come back! Lev, what's going on? Get him! Dusha, stop! We're going stop. to warm up now. Guys, today is movie day. We've got the diamond arm. Who's coming no with way. me? No way. Time and again. Let's go, guys. Come on, guys! Heave up handsomely! Level out the left Dolia, side! Oh, yeah, nice and easy! A little higher! Engine room, power up! Aye, aye, up to 900. Up to 900, aye, aye. Diusha, wait! Wait, I am... Oh, uh, uh, uh. Diusha, halt! I am sorry, he'll never do that again. Diusha! Diusha! Check into pawn shops and flea markets. Try to attract their attention. Naturally, you'll bear expenses. Here's some money for you. No, a pack of them. Please, be a pro. 500 roble. <laughs> What's wrong with your head? Look at him! Duisha! Duisha, where are you going? Left, please! Delicious. Pull the back ropes. Hold them tight. Who brought this dog here? <laughs> Get out of here. Shoo. Take the dog away. Where are you going? No walking under a suspended load! Get out of there! Let me through! Toya! Damn you! Hold it! Hold it tight! Get away from me! Is everyone okay? Shit! Who the hell is out there? Can't you see he's jerking the winch? My bad, comrade captain. The dog came in our way. Replace the torn ropes, and fix the back ropes to the left rail. He should not be doing it. You mean pulling the ropes? And no problem about that. In fact, that's good he went for it. However, he should not have fixed the load. The captain who does all the rigging means what? 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 He keeps distance from his crew. Got it. I'll give you 30 minutes. I will come and check. Aye, aye. No way. They taught me that a sailor should be afraid of his captain. When they see his captain, a sailor must... <gasps> tremble. Comrade first mate. What? We've got an iceberg dead ahead. Captain to the bridge, it's urgent. Yusha! Hey, have you seen Dusha? No! The 
Nikolaevich, we've got an iceberg dead ahead. It's five cable lengths away. We'll skirt it on the left side. Dusha! Dusha, you just tell me. Can't you understand plain Russian? Left 20 degrees 20 rudder. 20 degrees rudder! Aye, aye! Dudes, we've got an iceberg dead ahead! Holy cow! Wow. Comrade Captain, it's flipping over. I can see that. Stop the engines. Stop the engines, aye aye! Stop her. Aye aye! Semyon. Stand from under! Dusha! Get out of there! Man overboard! Alarm! Man overboard! I thought something bad has happened. Feel my heart beating. Can you feel it? Throw down the rope ladder! Get some more ropes! Andre, we can't stay. It's coming at us. I say we stay put. Comrade Captain, awaiting your orders. Rope a man down. Aye, aye, Captain. How could that Both happen? Way. Ropes and ballistic down to help the man up. Petrov, what the hell are you doing? It's one man overboard versus 70 people on board. We'll end up in Are prison! Are you afraid of drowning? Or going to prison? You will remember my words when they drag us to court! You will, Petrov, remember this! Bridge calling engine room. Switch to maneuvering mode. Half stern! Switch to maneuvering.
full star and stop left engine. Aye, aye. Rudder midships. Rudder midships, aye, aye. Ships meet her. Aye, aye. Meet her now, damn it. Meet her, aye, aye. Steady as you go. Steady as I go. Aye, aye. Engine room, power up. That's too much. That's your medicine. Comrades, what can I say? I don't want to say anything now. You know Lev was... He was a very good person. Let's drink to his memory. Open your mouth. Stick your tongue out. It looks good. Went a little too far with the alcohol, though. And it could have been worse. He lost his voice. But it will come back. I hope it will. Can you say ah? And now oh? Definitely too far. Andre? You locked the door, didn't you? I came here to report the damage. First, we have starboard bulwark stanchion dinged up. Points 25 through 43. Then we've got a dent in the plating, but this is not a big deal. There is something worse. The radar antenna is broken. Keeping silent? As you wish. I wonder if you saved it, Petrov. How is he doing? 
He's locked up in his cabin. I see. I think we should report it to Leningrad. What exactly? Everything. Captain Petrov, despite the objections of the crew... You mean us? Right. All of us. He took a decision which periled the safety of the vessel. As a result, a sailor was killed and we suffered damage. They should send in investigators. Ask them to bring poison too? Why? We've got a rat on board and it makes me sick. It's absolutely relentless. Comrade Bannock, I think you said the captain was unfit. He can't keep his distance, remember? I do. He can't keep his distance. If you are good, you will go a long way. I will definitely go. And make the report. This ship is so beautiful. May I hang the picture? Sure. You can go play in the hallway. Bedya, come play with Bavik. Luda. Luda. This is why I came. Is your husband off to sea? They will stand in Australian ports, won't they? Did you ask him to buy pantyhose? <sighs> That's okay. I got it. Nina. Nina! 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 You know, anyone can take my iron, on this floor, or on the upper one. Nina, we're getting divorced. Really? Yes. Luda. Comrade. Sorry, but I must make this announcement right now. We received a message from Leningrad, Anatoly Krilovich. Yes? Will you read it out loud? Why me? Please do. Weird. Radio message. Due to the inadmissible management errors, Captain Petrov has been dismissed from his position. By this order, we appoint an acting captain, Anatoly Yermiv. Keep reading. Until the arrival of Captain Sevchenko within three weeks. Take charge of the ship. Let's eat. Are you a trainee? No. It's my third flight. Try not to tear off the wheel. 
Are you talking about my hand? It's always the same with me. My brain is overactive. I am thinking too much. Mostly about generations to come. What the hell? What a great loss they will suffer if we crash right now. Are we going to crash? No, I am a good pilot. I am just speculating, you know? Of course, a dead captain is a great loss for the Soviet nation. But the people will cry for me too, especially if they find my diary. I am as good as Soy. Have you heard about Soy? Is he a pilot too? No. He is from Kino, or the movie in English. Which one? I am planting aluminum cucumbers on a canvas field. Watch where you're flying. He is a poet, and a very talented one, like myself. Do you want to listen to my poem? No. Come on, kids will most likely study them at school. Love, he is not my thing. I am better suited for war, to fight and to win. Are you playing a game? They publish winning algorithms in Science and Life magazine, but I thought that using them would not be fair. Get busy. I can see a chopper. Whoa, what a behemoth. Gromov, this is 27200. I can see you. Inbound for landing. Nico, wait! I made an Austerian pie for you! It's still hot! Thank you, Timo. Okay, Godspeed. Good luck, Andre. Mates, I want to thank you for being a great team. Hooray for the captain! Thank you. Be careful. We've got smoke in the cabin. Get the fire extinguishers Bring here! the fire extinguishers! Come on, do it! You aluminum cucumber farmer! I'm on fire! Move it! Jump out! Comrade Captain, are you all right? I'm Acting Captain Yermiv. You're a shitty Acting Captain. What a mess. You've got heating oil all over the deck. Is this Captain Petrov? Who nearly sank the ship? We had a man overboard. Where is this man now? 
We could not rescue This you. is what I'm talking about. Until they fix the chopper, you take up a free cabin. You will come ashore in Australia. They will wait for you there. We are going to the bridge now. Aye, aye, comrade captain. Watch where you are going. The captain is coming. Come here. Why are the lamps missing? Where's the electrician? Don't try to fool me. I used to be a first mate too at one time. Take it to the captain's cabin. Move it. Get lost. Aye, aye. What have you got on the chart table? What a mess. Clear the table. What is this thing? This thing is mine, comrade captain. You should keep your things in a kit locker in your cabin, comrade sailor. I told you to clear the table. From now on, I declare war on anarchy and mess on board this ship. Any questions? None. I have questions to ask you. Attention, Captain Valentin Grigoyevich Shevchenko speaking. Prepare to move forward. Full ahead. The seamen welcome their new captain, Sepchenko VG. Despite all the hardships, the captain reports high morale of the crew. That means you're not the only one. Your ex pushed over the edge. But they will hold him to blame if the ship gets stuck in the ice. Are they hoping for a miracle for good weather in the ministry? All they want is to cover their asses. They couldn't agree on simple things. Enough of that. Make a choice. Is it your husband or the icebreaker you're worried about? Divorce or campaign for your husband? What can I do? There's no one I can talk to. The ministry's going through a reshuffle. Don't worry. Your captain will find a solution. One way or another. Hopefully. Back off. Backing off. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's try and hit it again. Flank speed ahead. Flank speed ahead. Aye, aye, Captain. Why are we moving back and forth? How long are we going to do that? You are sick and tired of it, aren't you? Me too. Were it not for this piece of crap, I would have been ashore long ago. I am calling a general meeting of the crew in an hour. Golia. I am Golia Kukushkin. What's your name? Victor? Just like Victor Soy, a good name. I won't bother you any longer. Are you cold? Get in from the other side.
Vitalia? Get in, Vitalia. Comrades, this is what I think. We are growing ice all the time we stand still. We should move forward. We are looking for detailed ideas. We can't go out on our own now. Comrade Captain, I already suggested this. What about blowing up some barrels of fuel under the queue? That would break the ice and clear up a waterway. First, we should know the ice thickness. Andrei Nikolaevich, my people will do it right away. Or we can use the marine head. Emptying it would free up lots of warm stuff. Another positive would be... It would melt the ice from underneath and... Pops is doing his thing again, right? He is always talking about the warm stuff. <laughs> Comrade Petrov. Please leave the state cabin. This is a general meeting of the crew and you are no longer a member. You keep me waiting. Pardon my jumping in. But Andrei Nikolaevich is not at all a greenhorn. Please so sit down. I am the only captain here. If you've got any questions or suggestions, I'm all ears. Any questions or suggestions? None. Then listen to me, comrades. We're not going to blow up any barrels. Our lives probably depend on this fuel in a short while. To cut it short, we don't fool around. And we wait for an order from Moscow. You got it? Yes, sir. Yes. yes? Yeah. The meeting is adjourned. All dismissed. Comrade Captain, may I talk with you? There's something I want to tell you. I don't think the crew should know it. An iceberg may be following us. It's 100 meters above the water. We call it Semyon Semyonovich. It may drift away with the current. But we can't use radars to track it. I don't think I should tell you who left us blind. I think we should look for a way out together. I will find the way out, and you go to your cabin and stay put there. Or else I will place you under arrest. Why don't you shoot me dead? That's a good idea. Guys, have you got any other movies other than The Diamond Arm? It's a good one, but I want something different. They gave us one new movie part voyage. Good thing it was not the first mate's choice. We would have watched Linen in October. No problem. I will watch the movies at home. This is my last voyage anyway. Latest, not last. Ah yes, the latest one, I'm sorry. I can't clearly think because of this idleness. Vitaly, are we going to watch the movie? Can you turn off the lights? Russo, Toristo, moral character. Verstehen. Attention, your captain speaking. We received an order from the ministry to lie a hole. A rescue party will arrive to help us out. Until then, we must keep absolute radio silence. And introduce stringent austerity measures. This is the reason we're going to cut down the rations. The power supply to the crew quarters will be fractioned and scheduled. 
The exact schedule is to be communicated later. You'd better save some sugar, Comrade Bennick. Why? They won't forget about us on the mainland. Help will be on its way soon. Too many offices on the mainland. We can grow into an iceberg before they agree on anything. I don't see anything bad about that. We are getting our daily allowance. I don't mind some delays. The longer we stay, the more they pay. The more they pay. Sounds like you've got it all figured out. Oh, yes. I'm not that universally talented, but smart enough not to shit where I sleep. Is that a dig? Not at all. Comrade First Mate, I'd like to ask you something out of pure academic interest. Are you okay? Any worms of conscious eating you? Worms? Well, do you still think that the ratting on the captain was a good idea? As a result, we got a new one to enjoy ourselves within the ice. How dare you? Happy first day of the drift, comrade Yarmiv. Hi, I'd like to see Boris Thurgurvevich. My husband is on board. Mikhail Gromov. Lady, he doesn't receive visitors. How can you do this to us? No contact? For two months, I don't know if he's alive or not. <laughs> Look. Look, I have the right to know the truth. There. All the relatives want to know the truth. I can't let anyone through. I've got my orders. I see. Hey, where are you going? Did they let her through? <gasps> oh. What is wrong with you? She needs help. Call someone. Call an ambulance. Andrei Nikolievich. Hi there, pilot. What are you doing here? I can't sleep. I think I heard some birds. I see. You'd better go and have some sleep. I seem to lose my inspiration in the cabin. And you? I came out to catch some fresh air. With that? With a flare gun. I can help you. Yes, you can, Kukushkin. Don't tell anyone you saw me, okay? Go and have some sleep.
What are you looking at? Everything is going to be all right. You keep silent, got it? Easy, mate. I know that this is your cabin. I hate unwanted kids too. What do you keep silent and come here? I am down here. Hold on, Andre. Don't you fall asleep. Move it, guys. It's all right. He's alive. Make way. Let's go. Pertushkov, you are dismissed. How is he? Well, he's got Frosty. First degree. That's all I can say now, but he'll recover in a while. Why did you leave the ship? I think he tried to find a way to help us out. No one. You're lying again. Kukushkin told me everything, Comrade Petr. I am the one who gives orders This is the on cabin board. where I give orders, and I order you to leave the patient alone. Damn it. Just a minute, Comrade Captain. What is it? Ivanich. I've got something in my sheepskin. In the right pocket. The magic cue? Remember this? So what? I was right. The iceberg is following us. Would that mean that the iceberg can catch up with us? Yes, it can, Ivanich.
Okay, let's do it! We've got the rehearsal here. I will see you on the helipad. What happened? You're playing music. That means you've got nothing else to do. Have you fixed the chopper? No problem, guys. I will find you some work you are going to like. See you by the Boatswain storage in five minutes. Kukushkin, trying to dodge it? Come on, move your ass! There's a plane coming! Clear the deck! Take cover! Clear the deck! Take cover! Move it! Hey, Bob. Yeah? You see? Seems to be a Soviet icebreaker. Looks like it's completely dead. Report to the base. Okay, sir. Wellington Tower. Wellington Tower. Board C1934. We've got a facility detected on the ice. Coordinates are... You should not have broken the guitar. The guys will never understand that. Is that all? You can keep your advice to yourself. Let's be honest. 
Do you really think they will send anyone to rescue us? It's been two and a half months. You will be the last person I'm going to talk to if I ever want to discuss the orders from the Ministry. Now listen to me. This expedition started later than planned, because they were screwing around in this ministry of yours. And now the ice is one meter thick and we got stuck. They would have to answer for this incompetence. Do you really think they want any investigation? I can bet a box of cognac that no one ever reported it to the minister. Are you also giving this bullshit to the crew? I'm telling you, think about it. Address the crew. Agent Provocateur, are you? Call the Australians. A captain can break radio silence in a critical situation. We've got the medical checkup. This way. Come closer to the light. Open that rash wrap. Close it. Sailor shirt up. That's it. We are done. Vova, why are you so angry? Don't you get it? Valia, have you ever thought why you have got no friends? Here you go again. Why? You are old and gray, and you've got no friends. Or do you think everyone is envious of your profound intellectuality? Or that your handsome face? What the hell are you doing? You've got 70 men trapped in a tin can. They are on edge. All you can do is crack down on them. Captain, my ass. How is your family what doing? What does my family have to do with that? Nothing new. With your condition, I'm surprised they let you out. Doctors always help each other out, and then... Everyone has got some condition. I prefer spending my last years out here. What would I do ashore? I'd rather stay here forever. Spit the bad luck away. Well, yeah. Since we are talking about it, here's what I want to ask you. If anything bad happens to me, please drop me to the sea. I don't want to stay in the fridge. Please. What are you talking about? Just in case. We'll go out to the sea with you once more. You are the one who will bug me to death. What? 
Run to the bridge, move it! Hey, there. What is it? Water, in the hold. Mikhailovich, sound the alarm. Turn an alarm, I'm going down to the hold. Attention, first mate, lead the repair party to the second hold. Bring the provisions to the upper deck. Lady, where are you going? Stop, I'm telling you. Text Dr. Akulov. Stop! Stop the car! Roll down the window. You have your surgery tomorrow. Did they tell you? They did. I don't want to. Our tests confirm you need a surgery. You can't have a baby without it. I will. Think about it. You are 42 years old. You've got problems with your heart. It's your first pregnancy. You are going to die without help. Are you sure? I'm 90% sure. Let's go. Wait! Let's go! Let's go. Wait! Wait! No more flour, no more cereals, we've just got beans left. We'll have to cook bean mash. The freshwater tanks have been damaged, this is bad. Nikolaevich, what are we going to do? Don't ask me. It all started because of me. You feeling bored, Zorkin? It's cold. Comrade Captain? What is it? Petrov's in the radio house.
Andrei Nikolaevich, are you there? Yes. Why? Why did you lock up in there? I want to listen to a radio show, BBC channel about rock and roll. Do you know Seven Novogorodsev? Sure, everybody knows him. Bring me the fire axe, move it! Andrei Nikolaevich, you know what? What? I reported to Leningrad that we are in a critical situation. They are so slow, they must be discussing it now. Bureaucrats. Oh, yes. Nothing will change if you report it to them again. I don't want to contact them. Who do you want to talk to then? I want to go live on the air. To send a mayday for the entire world. Why do you want the entire world to know? Why? They would enjoy reporting on how bad our life is. They would love the story. Where the hell is the axe? Take it! You bastard! Let me go, Zorkin! Don't you worry that much. I haven't done anything yet. We received a radio message. Congratulations. We've got a permission to break radio silence. The rescue expedition is underway. Novorovskisk icebreaker is coming. Are they coming? Yes. Easy, easy, let go! Lock him up to the end of the expedition. Let me go, Zorkin! Son of a bitch! And fix the door! Hello. Vladimir Sefnov. You can call me Volodaya. Ludmila Petrova. I'm a journalist. I know who you are. Did you meet the crew? Not yet. I'll introduce you. Watch your step. You probably want to ask some questions? Not a single one. You submitted a request to your editor-in-chief, and then to my office. You asked to relieve you of this mission. Do you want to know why we kept you here? A KGB order is more than enough for me. I'd rather take some pictures now. I will have to send my report tonight. Of course. Later. Is that all? The situation is critical. We are on a diet now. Have you got anything delicious? I am sick and tired of this shitty soup. I wish Novora Sisiek arrived soon. You should not lay high hopes on it. I served on board Novorovskis. It's not that powerful. I'm not sure it can go across the 40s. The weather is too stormy there now. Ah, Lyuda. I came here to talk with you. 
your son's work? It's very good. Luida, I am sorry if I'm prying into your private life. I just can't get it. Why would you want to divorce your husband? He drinks, beats me, and cheats on me. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Then I fell in love with another man. Is that better? They told me in the registry office that the employees were so moved when you applied to get married. Why are you asking me all that? Liuda. Dear Liuda. Don't misunderstand me. I want to help. Obviously. Why are you saying that? Petrov loves you. And you love him too. But... The future you can have with him is not the one. That you would wish for yourself... Or for your child. I'm sorry. But there are other options. There are other options. Voice of America from Washington. This is the Human Rights Radio Show with Varys Baskaya. The Soviet Union is currently going through certain transformations. What the hell is that? Dudes, what are you doing over there? What is going on? We barely caught him. Are you nuts? I can't bear it any longer. I'm going to die in this frozen behemoth. Got it? That's okay. Let him go. Where do you think you're going? As far away from you as possible. Sorry. But we can't agree to that. No problem if you want to die, but please wait till I am off duty. Right. Fuck it all. Fuck your drifting, and your icebreaker, and the ice. Ugh, get away from me. Fuck this. Ugh, fuck this icebreaker. Fuck Calm it. Calm down. Ugh, 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 ugh. Get off. Fuck you. Kukushka. Get out of here. Kukushkin, stop it! I said get out! Leave me alone! Oh shit! Get out of the cockpit! Now he's working! It's working! It's working! It's working! It's working! It's working! Come in! Valentin Grigorievich. The chopper. It's been fixed. Is that all? That's all. Dismissed. Yes, 125. One twenty six. Come on, come on, one twenty seven. He is about to set a new record. What are you doing here? 
Are you nuts? Power is rationed! Get away from there! Vitalia! Don't! Are you okay? Comrades, let's keep it cool. We are in the same boat, after all. Today is his birthday. He exhausted his health on this ship. Happy birthday. I'm all for it. But we've got orders. We spend fuel for heating purposes only. I'm sorry, I'm not a seaman, but I understand that we cannot sit tight and wait for God knows what. We must do something. We suggested blowing up fuel and freeing up the ship. You're telling me? <laughs> he could at least send out an ice recon mission. I came to report to him. Captain, we fixed the chopper. Did he say anything? No, not a single word. He was reflecting on something. He is an ex-military idiot. He gets an order to break his neck, he will do so. You are right. Should we just get rid of this captain? We'll do as agreed. Come in. What a nice looking cabin our captain has here. Five years on this ship, and I've never been here. I think you're also better equipped to enjoy yourself in the drift. Comrade Captain, you're under arrest. It's simply luxurious. The man is a black profiteer. Does it sell well? Easy, easy. What a mess you have here, comrade captain. Is that all? Who has the flare gun? I have it. Don't let him move. Let's go. You see? A Rubik's Cube. I will always win one way or another. Here we are. Look at that. It looks brand new. Comrade Bannock, order the engine room to ready the engines. Is this the captain's orders? Mikhail Hitch, all of you us. You shouldn't are... ask questions. An order from the first mate is enough. I have been very curious since I was a kid. Comrade first mate, you do it. May I? Let's go. Engine room, prepare to start the four main engines. They decided to move? Get ready to move forward. Copy. Kosya. It's done. Oh man. Ready all! What's going on here? Dude, Boya, what's happening? Easy, easy! Boy, 
Gloria, what's going on? We are doing it. But this is not authorized. Conway Captain, may I ask you a question? You know, I'm not used to talking with armed people. All right, ask your question. Is it true that you had 12 people frozen to death on the ship you served before? Because you ran out of fuel? Who is it? Petrov, are you all right? Andrei Nikolaevich, I thought you would come sooner. Did you think you'd get lonely in the dock? You want to take the entire crew along? Valentin, I know that you don't like me, but you are no rock star either. Let's try and stop the crew before they burn the fuel. Did you stir up mutiny? Take away the gun. You're making things worse. I will get an award for shooting you. He didn't stir up anything. We did it on our own. Did they start the main engines? They did. Idiots! Dudes! We did it. We'll reach open water soon. You have some canned fish left. Bring it here! How come? The guys are going to blow up the ice. Hey, wait! Don't touch it! What the hell? Get out of here! What the hell are you doing? We are starting to move, let's celebrate! First we sail, then we eat canned fish! What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? They're attacking! What are you doing? What's going on here? Engine room, full head! Full head, aye sir! Get away from the EOT! I am telling you to get away from the EOT! It's going to detonate at any moment! Run! Dudes, what are you doing? Run, Ivanich! Stop the main engines! Engine room, stop the main engines! Ivanich, are you okay? Is he alive? Stop it! What the hell are you doing, mate? Mates! Mates, what are you doing in here? The doctor is killed! He is killed! The doctor is killed! What do you mean? Take him away.
It's all different now, Lyudmila. Your husband will be held responsible for the death of his sailor and the damage to the ship. But technically, he can avoid the trouble if he pleads guilty to incompetent ship handling and unnecessary drifting. I think his contract will be terminated, but that will be all. I know. It sounds quite unpleasant. But believe me, you will smile thinking about your new apartment. In Leningrad. No. Then let me put it this way. Look here. Do you think I'm kidding? You don't have much of a choice. Either he pleads guilty, or this will be the end of you both. Get it? Valentin Gregoyevich, are you sure we shouldn't take him home? He is home now. Let's do it. The uniform does become you, Antonoli Krolyovich. Isn't it beautiful? It really is. Are you sure you want to do it? Don't you want to see what happens next? It will happen without me. I can go to the bottom of the sea, or I can go to prison at home. What a crew we had. First mate and captain, both shit. Good. If they really are. What? Shit flows, Tolia. We cut down heating. No lights or electrical appliances. 
But even if we do that, we will have enough fuel for maximum for three days. If Novorovskis doesn't bring fuel, we are going to freeze to death. They'll make it. What are you going to do with me? We will place you under arrest. Then place everyone else under arrest too. That would be fair. Look, Diusius. What is it? What is wrong? What is he saying? I don't get it. What is it? A plane? No, that's something different. Anything wrong on the deck? Enough hypothesizing. Holy shit. It's coming right our way. Keep calm. This is our chance to survive, Valentine. How come? Do you want to go down to the crack? How can we go down the crack? The underwater part of the iceberg will be too close. You want to go in the eye of a needle. Have you got any better ideas? We've got too little fuel. We'll start the engines at the very last moment. If the iceberg cracks the ice field over there, we can give it a try. I'll take the chopper and look for the best way to skirt it. I will go. Kukushkin, do you mind? <laughs> no, comrade captain. Prepare the chopper. <clears throat> Come, help me. Assume the command while I'm away. Thank you for putting trust in me. I am doing it out of despair rather than trust. I'm not finished with you. Well, awaiting your orders, Captain. Passage in the ice field at 120 to the left. Get closer. Aye, aye. Are you scared? I am. You have every reason to be. Romov, there is an ice hole to the right of the iceberg. The speed of the iceberg may be an issue. This behemoth is moving at two knots. Copy. The ice field is cracking. Prepare to start the engines. Feeling bored, comrade first mate. Tell Pops to start the engines. Bridge calling engine room. Start the engines. Captain's order. Let's do it. What's wrong with her? She came in with pains. No diagnosis yet. I know her. I warned you. Send an intern to help me deliver. Let's go. I know you are a professor. 
If I can't make it, you'll get into trouble. Where's your husband? He's a seaman. They are drifting in the Arctic right now. We need his contact details. I got it. You want to know who will take my body? Get her to a room. Roma, the ice field is much thinner behind the iceberg. Comrade Captain, may I ask you a question? Go ahead. Aren't you scared as well? I am. I am very scared. My son will be born soon. Mikhailovich, go to the foredeck. Report the distance to the iceberg. Aye, aye. Go down this crack. Go down the crack, aye, Captain. Tolia, go to the EOT. Aye, Captain. We are 30 meters away from the iceberg. 20 meters away. Away. Right standard rudder. Right engine in reverse. Right standard rudder. Aye aye. Right engine in reverse. Aye aye. Stand from under. Flank speed astern. Steady. On, my dearest. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? Dolia, sound an alarm. Aye, aye. General alarm. I repeat, general alarm. We did it. Oh man. I think we did it. Did we? We did it. Comrade Captain, I am trembling! Roma, we are coming back, inbound for landing. I'm ready. We can start. Where is your intern? I will deliver your baby. Thank you. Anesthetizing. The crosswind is too strong. It is carrying us to the iceberg. Kukushkin, keep it steady. Oh, shit! We're going to the iceberg! Keep it steady!
Gromov calling 27200, copy. 27200! Kukushkin! Maybe the radio is down. Try and locate the radio beacon. Aye, aye, Captain. They are here, behind the iceberg. It's dragging them along. Gromov, Gromov, copy. Novorisk is calling. Petrov here. Call your captain. Where is Sevchenko? I am his replacement. Are you all nuts over there? Captain Sevchenko and the chopper pilot crashed close to the iceberg. We need your chopper. How quickly can you arrive? I will not talk to anyone other than the captain. You have been dismissed, Comrade Petrov, and I am not going to. I'm sorry. Man, you got off here. Andrei and Nikolaevich, it will take us at least two hours to come over. It will be too late. We'll try to rescue them on our own. Godspeed, dudes. What do you mean, on our own? The iceberg is falling apart there. Comrade Captain. If you save Sevchenko, he will prosecute us for the mutiny. You too. Get back to the helm. To the helm. Aye, aye, Captain. We don't even know if they are still alive. They are our captain and our pilot, comrade first mate. We are going to rescue them. Any objections? None at all. Turn us around, full speed ahead. Left engine in reverse. Put somebody on the aye, lookout aye, at the bow. Engine room, get engines to 800. He would never risk his ship for no reason. It is not his ship. Another captain was put in charge there. Your husband is allegedly trying to save him now. Can I talk to my husband? Is this why you called me? And keep in mind the things we discussed a while ago. Here's Gromov, Petro Stivigin. Petrov here. Copy. Petrov. Petrov, can you hear me? Loida? I am on board Novorossiysk. I... I hate you here. Why can't you live like others? You always swim against the current. And what have you got? We never look up to others. You know it. I am tired. <laughs> I love you. Save whomever you have to save. And don't you dare drown. I won't. I promise you. You bitch! You are going to rot in your communal flat. Kolya, are you okay? Kolya! Kolya! Are you okay? Climb out. Come on, come on! Move it, come on! I 
can't. My foot is stuck. Damn, come on. No, I can't. They won't come to rescue us. They can't get that close to the iceberg. Come on! I will never be a poet now. Climb out, damn you! Gregorievich. Cut the umbilical cord. She stopped breathing. Start CPR. Adrenaline. Will you go and have some rest? Later. Thank you for your help, Andre. We've got water in the second hold. I will work on it. You are dismissed. Left standard rudder. Flank speed ahead. This is something for you. Giving it back for you to play. Stop! Valentin Grigorievich. That's me. I am Arthur Manukara. I am glad you pulled through. Can you give us fuel? We are preparing the pipeline. You will have fuel. Are you Captain Sevchenko? That's me. Who are you? I will tell you later. I will have to talk to you, but not here. Who's he? Oh, man.
Congratulations. Smell our barbecue. Why do we want this old paper? Did you bring it? Indeed. I got it. Read some papers. What is it? What have we got here? He's the new party leader. Everything has changed now. What has he got here? Go to the third page. Hey, Kukushka. Andre. Here it is. The Brava newspaper published the Rice article. Look at this picture of Madden Grof, Sevchenko, and yourself. It's me! Look, here, it's all about us! Look, that security guy that interrogated us for a whole week? I think they were discussing what they should do with us. Definitely. Did they take a decision? There's nothing about the mutiny here that means Sevchenko sold us out. <laughs> Shall we? Go ahead. Zimbaldi, call the captain! Fall in! Everybody fall in! We do as agreed! Hello! Jesus, wait, what are you doing? Wow, it's nice here. Why did you call me? What's the reason? We wanted to thank you. For what? For not selling us out. From the entire crew. I have a son now. I'd better raise him than go to courts. A son! <laughs> what is it? My friend brought it from Sydney. Kukushkin brought it here. Enjoy, comrade captain! Thank you. W one more second. Comrades, captain! I am trembling! Hooray! 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 Well done! I agree, Valentine. Oh, 
ты моя сестра После красно-желтых дней Начнется и кончится зима Горе ты моя дума Не печалься, гляди веселей И я вернусь домой Со счетом, может быть, на щите Серебряно может быть в нищете, но как можно скорей Расскажи мне о тех, кто устал От безжалостных уличных драм И о храме из разбитых сердец О тех, кто идет в этот храм После красно-желтых дней Начнется и кончится зима Горе ты мое от ума Не печалься, гляди веселей И я вернусь домой Со счетом, а может быть, на щите Серебряно может быть в нищете, но как можно скорее. Снилась миром про 